Welcome, my name is Natalie. So yesterday I did talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum and we did break this previous support, came back up, retested. And if we're looking at the lower time frames on Bitcoin, you can definitely see that we did have two opportunities to sell the market. And these were the areas that I was talking about yesterday. So we had this one, we had this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you where you'll have your next target, where you have your next entry on both Ethereum and Bitcoin. I do also talk about why you're not supposed to buy the market right now. So continue watching this this video I'm gonna show you exactly what I see let us start with ethereum and we are looking at the daily right now and you can see that yesterday we did actually came back up and retest this previous resistance that we did have here and we are now in a new resistance go down to the four hour we can see that it never broke the the resistance at all you have a, f a couple of um, weeks to to the upside you have one two three four five five that just closed inside of it so when you see something like this against a resistance you definitely will look for sell opportunities if we're going down to the one hour you could see that the market it just more clear about how it look how it looks uh, you could definitely, if, you, if you're if you looking at this candle right here, you could definitely have sold when this candle closed because it's engulfing previous bullish candle that we did have. A red bearish candle came and engulfed it. So this was definitely a sign for you to sell when this candle did close. Remember, you always, when you're trading, you always want the candle to close. It doesn't matter what time frame you're on, you definitely, you, you must wait for the candle to close because you don't know how otherwise how it will end up um, just something that you, know, you need to remind yourself of if we're going to the lower time frames I do still have these drawings on since yesterday because uh, yesterday we were inside of this consolidation market that we did have and we did break to the downside came back up and retested this previous support that we did have and then the market made a you can say it's uh, a double top you have one two you can see that this one actually did close below the previous one so that's also a sign for you to sell the market and you also have a morning star right here this is a morning star and when this candle closed you could definitely have sold the market even if the market came back up a little bit doesn't matter it, it gives you put it gives you three confirmations the market broke to the downside came back up gave us one leg the market did close above the market came back down again retested closed below the previous high that we did have here and it also gave us a morning star right here if we're going to the 30 minutes you can also see that this bearish red candle right here did engulf the previous bullish candle you see and if you're not sure about that you definitely are going down to the 15 minutes because this is the engulfing candle that i was talking about right now so this was the engulfing candle these two red candles right here these two those are this red candle right here at the 30 minutes so that was definitely a very good good trade to take and you would have definitely be in some very good profits right now so this is the beauty with trading. We wait, we see what the market is doing. Does it break the, the resistance or the support, turning it to a new support or new resistance and see what the market is doing against these. What we do have in mind right now and why we are focusing more on selling the market is because of this huge red candle that we did have yesterday. So this is definitely something that pushes us to, to look for sell opportunities because you never want to go against the trend so right now we are definitely in a, a, a pullback a downtrend and just let's see how far it can go um, so if the market will continue obviously right now we are at a you can see on the higher time frames that we do have take this one away that we that we at a support you have the support right here and you also have the previous resistance right here 
So right now we want the market to do, we, we want the market to can see if the market breaks this one. And I, I do believe the market will continue going down a little bit. And as I told you before, you do have the target and it's around, I'm going to have this one first. I say target and that's 2974. If the market comes back, if the market go will go somewhere, it's definitely going to be around this area. I always talk about this week right here because I do believe it needs to fill. I always say the market can continue to the downside. And if we are combining these two together, we'll do it like this. So this is the this is the wick on the higher time frames you can see that. So if you want to be sure to sell the market later, you can definitely wait for the market to break to the downside, come back up and then retest it just like it did here and then come back down again and you see that the market will continue to the downside and that's the target. If we're looking at Bitcoin, we definitely start with the daily and you can see that the market did the same thing, broke to the downside, came back up, retest this previous support that we do have right here, it goes back to the four hour and we did break the, the small little support that we did have here. The market is very tight here, so, um, but it did actually break it, come back up and retest it. See how it looks on the, on the, sm on the smaller time frames. Uh, this is an area, this is what I was talking about yesterday, so I told you guys, because we were around here, we did break this um, previous support and resistance that we did have, and we did break to the downside. Came back up, just as I told you, if the market comes back up, we sell the market, and, and the market came back up, it gave us a little fake out, that's okay, the market came back down again, retested it, and then continued to the downside. I did put up this little uh, box right here too on 46272. Uh, the market came back up and did the exact same thing. Came back up two times, retested this support, pre uh, made it a resistance, broke to the downside, came back up again, retested this support that we do have here on 45786. Four, can definitely come back up again, retest it, and then we can sell the market. Um, and the target that I do have on the higher time frames and that 44150 and this is on Bitcoin so I definitely don't do not see any any buying opportunities yet I'm very careful about that the market can definitely go to the upside but when I'm looking at market structure and I'm looking at the candlestick there's no way there's not not anywhere here that you see that the market is actually on to its upside so you need to be very careful just to remind yourself that just because we are in the overall trend to the upside and that you do hope because i know a lot of people hope that bitcoin and ethereum will go up now and they just waiting for the right opportunity but if you know how market structure works and how you and you know how candlestick patterns works you know that there's no sign for you right now to buy in this market. You have a huge candle to the downside, broke the previous res uh, support, turning it to resistance. Where's the buy opportunity? I can't, I can't see it. Definitely, if the, market, if the market will continue to the upside, you need the market to break this support. This, you need the market to break this resistance that we do have here, and that's 46843. Otherwise, you're just gambling with your account. And why, why, why are you doing that? You should not do that at all. This is where you need to be patient. You get paid to be patient. Right? You need these. You need this to break. This, this, pre, this resistance to break, turning it into support for you to be able to buy the market. You don't want to buy the market right now because it's just telling you to sell the market. You see what just happened here? We just broke this. We just broke this support right here, and we came back up, made a new resistance. And if you're buying, why are you buying? Okay, that's something that you need to ask yourself. Even if the market will continue to the upside, what do you have for confirmations that it's telling you it's on its way up? That's just gambling.
and you're, you're not supposed to gamble. This is what I see, okay? But you need to be careful. I know a lot of people wish the market to go up, but we need to follow price. Price telling us what to do. It always does. So right now, on what I see on Bitcoin and Ethereum is definitely the same thing. And I do believe the market will continue to the downside. If the market is breaking to the upside, though, it's just like I told you, we need to break this resistance here, 46835, for us to be able to see the market continue to the, to the upside. And if it does that, well, then we are looking for targets for us to, we are looking for buy, buy opportunities and then we are seeing where our target targets can be. Right now, just going down. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video and we'll continue to tomorrow. Hope you're good. Bye.